Hi. Now here I have another example in my series of proof by mathematical induction where we've got to show that the sum of r cubed going from r equals 1 to r equals n is equal to a quarter times n squared times n plus 1 all squared. So to do this in the usual way what we need to do is show that it's true for when n equals 1 as the first step. So let's just say that when n equals 1, then the left hand side, LHS, is going to be equal to the sum of r cubed going from r equals 1 to 1. In other words, we've just got one single term, 1 cubed. And 1 cubed is obviously 1. Now just check out the right hand side of the equation here. So we've got RHS equals, and then if we just copy down the right hand side, a quarter n squared n plus 1 squared. Substitute the 1 in and we end up with a quarter times 1 squared times 1 plus 1 which is 2, 2 squared. And you can see that this 2 comes to 1. So therefore what we have is that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And so therefore this is going to be true when n equals 1. True for n equals 1. Okay, so now we've proved that it's true for n equals 1. We assume it's true for a particular integer value of n. So we normally call that uh, k. So say assume true for n equals k. And we've got to show that it's true for n equals k plus 1 based on this assumption. So if it's true for n equals k, therefore that means that the sum of r cubed are going from 1 to k okay, is going to be equal to, and all we need to do is substitute wherever we have an n here, k. So it's going to be a quarter of k squared multiplied by k plus 1, all squared. So we now need to check it out for when n equals k plus 1. And so when n equals k plus 1, we've got that therefore that summation of r cubed going from r equals 1 to k plus 1, that's going to be equal to, well, if we've got k plus 1 terms, we look at the first k terms, that's sigma of r cubed going from r equals 1 to k. That's the first k terms, or the sum of the first k terms. And then we've got the k plus 1th term, which the k plus 1th term will be k plus 1 all cubed. And we'd add that on, that last term, onto the end there. OK, so we just need to simplify this now. So we'll put that therefore, We've got that summation then of r cubed going from r equals 1 to k plus 1 is going to equal. Well, we've got this value here because we've assumed that this is true, that it came to a quarter k squared, k plus 1 all squared. So we just put that in as a quarter k squared multiplied by k plus 1 all squared. And then we've got this last term to add on to the end. So that's k plus 1 all cubed. And when you get to this part, I always kind of like to look ahead and see what we're aiming for. And if we've got to show this result, what we would expect is that wherever there's an n here, we've seen that we've got k plus 1. So we would expect the answer to be a quarter k plus 1 all squared and then we would have k plus 1 here plus another one so that's going to be k plus 2 all squared. So that gives me an idea that if I'm to get that I need to have a quarter out the front 
and I would expect here to have k plus 1 all squared. Well, I can see that that features in both those two terms there, so I'm going to put k plus 1 all squared there. So, just need to factorize this now. So I have another bracket, and for this first term, I just need that k squared. And for the second term, in order to get rid of this 4 here, I'm going to need a plus 4. And I've already got k plus 1 squared, so I just need another k plus 1. OK, so we've got that. Let's tidy up this second bracket. So we've got quarter k plus 1 all squared. And then for this, we've got k squared plus 4k plus 4 if I expand that bracket. So k squared plus 4k plus 4. Now, this factorizes. This is k plus 2 all squared. So I can write that then back as a quarter k plus 1 squared multiplied by k plus 2 all squared. And this is looking good because that's what I wanted up here. When n was k plus 1, I would have k plus 1 plus another one. That would be k plus 2 all squared. So all I've got to do is just modify this now. Quarter k plus 1 all squared. And then here I'm going to have a square bracket. And I'm just going to write k plus 1 and then plus another one there. So that's my k plus 2. And that's all squared. So I can see now that wherever there was an n in my formula up here, it's been replaced with k plus 1. And so it is therefore true for n equals k plus 1. So we get the usual ending that we know that it's since it's true, or if it's true, let's say if true for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus 1. Now we've already seen that it's true for n equals 1 up here. So therefore, if it's true for n equals 1, it must be true for n equals 2. And if it's true for n equals 2, it must be true for n equals 3, and so on. So therefore, we can just say, since true for n equals 1, it must be true for n equals 2, 3, and so on. So therefore, true for all integer values of n, n belonging to the set of integers. So z there, positive integers. OK, that's my attempt anyway to z there. OK, so it's given you an idea then how to show then through mathematical induction the sum of r cubed. All right.